Welcome, everyone, to Two Guys to the Dark Tower Canyon, a podcast where we discuss the characters, connections, and deeper meanings of Stephen King's magnum opus, The Dark Tower. I'm Jay Russo. And I'm Sean McGurr. You can find more information about the podcast at two guys to the dark tower You can also email us at two guys dark tower at gmail.com. In this episode, we'll cover book four of The Dark Tower, Wizard in Glass, the Come Reap section. Chapters 5 through 8. Let's start the show. As Reaping Day approaches, the Cotet comes up with a plan to stop Farson's goal of getting oil from Magus, and they also realize that the globe that Rhea possesses is one of the Wizard's Rainbow, a collection of magical balls that their fathers told them about. Before they can put their plan into action, the three boys are captured and thrown in jail, where they await execution at the Reaping Day bonfire. Susan has a confrontation with her Aunt Cordelia and is able, with Shimi's help, to conduct a jailbreak. Exciting stuff, Jay, happening in this section of the Dark Tower. We do our flashback here. And uh, again, as we said with some of the previous sections in this book, this is plot heavy, driving story, just moving right along, flipping through the pages one by one just to see what happens next, even though there's so much foreshadowing in this section that. Things are not going to turn out well for at least one of our characters. And obviously it's not Roland because we know <laughs> Roland survives to tell this story. But I'm still on the edge of my seat as I'm re- reading through. Is it Capricosa? If you enjoyed this clip, you can listen to the rest of this and all of our other episodes by going to twoguysthedarktowercame.com. You can email us at twoguysdarktower at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash twoguysdarktower. And our Twitter handle is at Two Guys Dark Tower. If you like the show, please rate and review us on iTunes.